Stephen Kenny's future clearly isn't isn't looking good. Five wins in in twenty seven. I suppose some would ask the question: Should this group of players be doing better than they are, and exactly how much better should they be doing? I would say yes. Um, you know, this is an underperforming group. Um, no, I'm, I never said it when this group was made. I, I thought it was nigh on impossible for us to qualify out of it when you look at it. But we said at the start when the draw was made, third was minimum, bare minimum requirement. We had to beat Greece and 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 probably twice I would have thought, you know, because they're ranked similar to us. Um, they're a decent side, but I think that we have certain attributes that we should have imposed on the Greeks. And at no point over two games did we. Um, so yes, I think that this group is underperforming, and I think a manager's job. Um, is to get the most out of the group that he has. If he's maximising the ability of the team and the squad that he has, then he, nobody can ask any more of him. You know, it's brilliant if you get a squ squad overachieving and, and outdoing the sum of its parts. You know, but I think the squad is underperforming. I think it's obvious. Look, it's obvious. No new manager is going to come in and try to you know get this group performing to its ability. Um, last night's performance, a lot of the performances, um, it has been poor, and I think the group is capable of an awful lot more. With a better setup, uh, a more realistic manager that will, you know, acknowledge the flaws in the group and, uh, and and ask more from them and demand more from them. That's one thing that I worry about: is the demands being put on the players? Are they being chewed out after games? You know, when when they turn in performances mm. like we have done against the poor sides, are they getting dug out? Um, I'm not so sure. Keith, would you go along with that? Is this group, uh, this group of players, strong enough to to be in the mix for for third place in this group? I'm not too sure, uh, Bernard, I have to be honest. Uh, I, I think Greece, they battered us in Athens and to be fair, they battered us in Dublin as well. We had a flurry for maybe the first five minutes, Smallbone had a shot, Ferguson hit the post, but other than that, you know, a lot of people were saying, you know, people were talking about Stephen Kenny even a couple of months ago saying, oh, well, the progression of the team is getting better. The progression, there is no progression in this team. You know, it's probably complimentary to say we're standing still to this squad at the minute because we only look dangerous when we get the ball into the box and then, you know we've Shane Duffy we've Evan Ferguson we've people ringing into the box but defensively we look all over the place we look like you know Greece are coming to town and they're cutting us over it's like a knife through butter they're just having a way with us and at times in that first half we were chasing shadows in the second half we were chasing shadows at time as well and we had the lion's share of the ball but when Greece had the ball they just looked really really comfortable every one of them are technically gifted on the ball and that's how you can be a possession-based team if you have technically gifted players. We don't have technically gifted players in the middle of our pitch. So how can you be a possession-based team if you don't have players that can keep the ball? And to this thing where you want to turn the screw, play between the lines, wear people down, all we do is pass sideways and backwards. We never pass forwards. Josh Cullen in, in, uh, in particular doesn't pass forward. If you're going to win the ball and pass sideways and backwards, all you're doing is shaping the opposition press. And it's, it's so, so hard to play through when you haven't got ball playing midfielders to do that. So for me, we are under and We can win a couple of games of football, but I don't think it's going to be pretty. Like Damien says, I think we need to cut our cloth accordingly here. And, you know, it's not going to be pretty, but I think we can eke out results. Damien.